I await your command. Let's see. At times, perhaps, a world full of people and buildings and things was all very foreign to me. If I wished companionship, I ran with the wolves and flew with the birds. If I spoke, it was to the trees. Aww. Such simple pleasures will only enthrall for so long. I recall the first time I crept beyond the edge of the wilds. I did so in animal form, remaining in the shadows and watching these strange townsfolk from afar. I happened upon a noblewoman by her carriage, adorned in sparkling garments the likes of which I had never before seen. I was dazzled. This, to me, seemed what true wealth and beauty must be. Aww. I snuck up behind her and stole a hand mirror from the carriage. It was encrusted in gold and crystalline gemstones, and I hugged it to my chest with delight as I sped back to the wilds. Nice. Can you imagine she was pleased? She was not. Flemeth was furious with me. I was a child and had not yet come into my full power, and I had risked discovery for the sake of a pretty bauble. To teach me a lesson, Flemeth took the mirror and smashed it upon the ground. Dang, that's some hard parenting. I was heartbroken. And a foolish one. Flemeth was right to break me of my fascination. Beauty and love are fleeting and have no meaning. Survival has meaning. Power has meaning. Without those lessons, I would not be here today, as difficult as they might have been. Hmm. They did indeed. To return to your original question, perhaps my time in the wilds was indeed lonely. But such was how it had to be. I find myself at times wondering what might have become of the girl with the beautiful golden mirror. But such fantasies have no place amidst reality. Dang. Alright, what else we got over here? Ah, that's right, this man. You're a hard woman to find. And you have no clothes. The name is Levy. Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins? Levy the trader? Uh, never heard of you. Really? He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see... Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the Wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, at that. But I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. Yo, what did he promise? My family... Well, past a bit checkered, to see. Nobles look at us with disdain. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last Warden Commander of Ferelden back when the Wardens were known as Freeloaders. So King Olin banished the Wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. Then what happened? Hard to say. After King Olin died, there was a civil war, loads worse than this one, and our family was on the run, hunted by enemies, with nary a friend in the world. But Dryden's are tough. We rebuilt, became merchants, and we never lost our pride. Mm-hmm. See, I'm surprised you kept your name. Our family's only crime was guarding the kingdom against the blight. We're not ashamed of that. And what do you... And what was the favor? I asked for the truth. My family reveres Sophia Dryden. We know she died at the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. We want evidence to clear her name. It won't restore our land or our titles, but it'll restore our honor. Never heard of, heard of it. Well, no one's been to Soldier's Peak since Ireland's days. At least none that's come back. I spent years mapping the maze of tunnels to the peak, and I found the way a few years back. So I went to Duncan, I did. 
and I said that he could reclaim the old base and my family could have its honor. Okay. I'll have to think about this. Because I am not diving into that DLC right away, I'll tell you what. I'll bring the dog. Lothering. That's where we are right now. Redcliffe Village. Huh. Yo, I say we go to Redcliffe first. Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. Let me guess. You're an idiot. <laughs> well, oh, wait. Darn it. Yeah. Wrong option. Can't wait. Guess so. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to like this, am I? I don't know. I doubt it. I've never liked it, that's for sure. Well, uh, let's see. Let me tell you this. We're almost at Redcliffe. Did I say how I know our Eamon exactly? Are you his son? No, no, I'm not his son. I'm a bastard. My mother was a serving girl at Redcliffe Castle, and she died when I was born. Our Eamon took me in and raised me before I was sent to the Chantry. The reason he did that was because, well, because my father was King Marrick, which made Kaelin my half brother oh what well, why did you tell me this before how when would I say that oh by the way King Merrick had sex with a servant and she produced a bastard son that's me I would have told you but it never really meant anything to me I was inconvenient a possible threat to Kalin's rule and so they kept me secret I've never talked about it to anyone Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. Stupid. Wait, does Lone Gain know? That's a big question. Why wouldn't he? He was King Marek's best friend. I don't know if that means anything, though. I certainly never considered the idea that it might ever be important. Al Eamon eventually married a young woman from Orlay despite all the problems it caused with the king so soon after the war. He loved her a great deal. Anyway, the new Arlesa resented the rumors which pegged me as the Arl's bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Arl didn't care, but she did. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age 10. Just as well. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. Aww. Luckier than most orphans. <laughs> I suppose you're right. I wasn't raised as the Arl's son, though. If you're picturing that, I slept in hay out in the stables, not on silk sheets. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall, and it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Isle came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there and blamed him for everything. And eventually, he just stopped coming. Aww. And raised by dogs. Or I may as well have been the way I acted. But maybe all young bastards act like that. I don't know. <laughs> All I know is that the Arl is a good man and well-loved by the people. He also was King Kalen's uncle, so he has a personal motivation to see Loghain pay for what he did. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. Yo, as you command, my prince. Oh, lovely. I'm going to regret this. Somehow I just know it. <laughs> I 
thought I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? Uh, is there a problem? So you... you don't know? Has nobody out there heard? There's a civil war going on, if you haven't noticed, so what's going on? We heard news about the king and all the fighting. That was before everything started here. We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I, I, I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, it nobody was propaganda. does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding Yo, us together. It? He'll want to see you. Ban Tegan, our Lehman's brother. Should He's I here. dare yes. say... It's not far, if you'll come with me. The liberal media. Is it those damn commies? The Russians? Fox News. Oh boy. Yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainersphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news. Still alive, yes. Though I'm just as surprised about that as you are, believe me. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. Uh, wait. Why? What has Loghain said about us now? That Loghain pulled out his own men in order to save them. That Kaelin risked the entire nation's safety in the name of glory. Loghain calls the Grey Wardens traitors, murderers of the king. Oh. I don't believe it. It is an act of a desperate man. So you are a Grey Warden as well. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil. Things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. Can I help you then? Actually, wait, then what happened? They hit again the next night. Each night they come with greater numbers. With Kaelin dead and Loghain starting a war over the throne, no one responds to my urgent calls for help. I have a feeling tonight's assault will be the worst yet. Alistair, I hate to ask, but I desperately need the help of you and your friends. It isn't just up to me. Though the Grey Wardens don't stand much chance against the game without our Oh, just you wait, Alex. It's gonna get rough. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, Only is outside two. the chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. On my way. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. All right. Yo, we're gonna need some help. Well, let's get rid of this save. Keep this save. All right. I'm so scared. Sorry. Am I bothering what are we me? Going to do? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Hmm. See what's? You're not bothering me. Let's see. You're right. You're crying. Those, those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time, everywhere. How terrible, you poor thing. 
I wish there was something we could do to help. Something. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. Don't worry, we'll find him. You will? Thank you so much. Please find him. Silence, girl. Do you want the children to hear you? But night is coming. The monsters will return and we sit here and wait for them. We, the Maker, will if judge us by how chantry, we meet our break the, the windows. All right, what do we need to do? And sing the chant of light with mother. Yeah, we need to get this place ready to go. Nobody else is no, dying. Tonight so far. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? Yes, I am. I didn't think they made women Grey Wardens. Maybe as well if it makes a difference. Well, uh, that's just great. <laughs> as if we weren't nervous enough as it was. Now we've got magic too. We aren't going to turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Yo, Don't what is up with his gravelly right voice? Now, well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the oh, village. Man. Providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. Pretty much. Have faith, my good man. We will defeat the evil. I hope you're right. I really do. Anyhow, you're here, and they tell me you're in charge. We need what little Yo, armor and weapons we got repaired so much? and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. Yes. Oh, one second. All right. All right, sorry about that. All right, let's see. Uh, what else? I'd appreciate it. If he doesn't help, he'll die like the rest of us. What good will that do anyone then? Uh... Tell them to maintain watch. 
I don't want a surprise attack before the sun. See, Chantry. No, I think we have to go to Coast the down. Smitty. Yes, sir. What should we do until the then? Smitty, Warder, Jaegerman, Jensen. Oh, might as well save in case things don't work out. Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Yo, why? I didn't even... I just want to speak with you, and I... How do you even know I approached? Huh? Who is that? What do you want? I've been to enough. Yo, what about the militia? That's so. Well, if Murdoch wants more weapons, you can give him the same answer I did. He can make them himself. Uh, please, I just want to talk to you. I said no, and I meant it. Be gone, stranger. Go. Nope. Give me something. If you didn't notice, the smithy is closed, the forge is cold, you've come to the wrong place. Well, all right, we'll break it down. My accident says you won't. Just you try it, looter! Be good, I said! Don't you try to come in here! Darn it. Good. And don't come back. It's okay. You know what? I have an idea. We'll just load ourselves back in. Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Um, I think I'm mistaken. Hey, you're not Murdoch. Who are you and what are you doing at my door? Um, I prefer to come in. Certainly not. I don't know you and I don't want to. Off you go. But uh, I, I need my smithing done. If you didn't notice, the smithy is closed, the forge is cold, you've come to the wrong place. Please? I said no and I meant it. Be gone, stranger. Um... That's so. Well, if Murdoch wants more weapons, you can give him the same answer I did. Well, he looks like we're breaking down the door. Be gone, I said. Don't you try to come in here. Break it. <laughs> FBI, open up. Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. Somebody's been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Just come barging into my home. Alistair. I've no money and nothing of value to take, as you can plainly see. So if you're here to beat on a sad old man, then all I ask is you get on with it. I don't have much to live for as it is. I'm here just to talk. Is that so? Then talk then. Uh, let's see. What? Do you know what's going on? You mean why are these creases attacking the village? Obviously, something wicked corrupts the castle. My daughter used to tell me the Arlesa was up to something, hiding things from her husband. I told Velena she was imagining things, but maybe the Arlesa was involved in something. Blood magic, maybe. Oh, what else did she say? She thought the Arlesa was having an affair with some tutor she hired for the boy, Connor. I never listened much to her talk about it, though I wish now I had. It doesn't matter anyway. She's lost to me, and I can't do anything about her warnings now. Let's see, what else?
Let's see, have you told anyone else about this? Of course not. And who would I tell? And what good would it do now, eh? I just wish I paid more heed to my girl. Let's see, what do you know about Alyssa? Only that she's an Orlesian girl from beyond the Western Mountains. Far too young for our all. That's what I say. And too proud and it's strong from the sounds of it. So you want to talk about something else? Like what? See, why'd you lock yourself in Smithy? My girl, Valena. We gotta make it about him. We gotta make it about Alessa's him. Maid, and she's trapped up there in the castle, but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. What about your hands? Or you can help to work to help saving her. I'm an old man. Everyone knows we aren't making it through the night. Or are you going to save us? I am. Is that so? Hm. Maybe it's the drink talking, but you almost sound like you believe that. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you Stop. could go in and find her. I'm not gonna stop Alex. Provided any of this us live village through the will night. live. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing. And I didn't believe him either. I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. Yes, I'll do it. I'll for the that. XP. It's something to hope for at least. And I suppose there's no point in me sitting around, is there? Time to relight the forge and get the smithy going, eh? Murdoch will be pleased. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. Sweet. See, he's good to go. This man, this man knows what's up. All right, Murdoch. Well, oh my God! Like what happened to your Ola's body? Finally, doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll send one of my men to inform Bantigan the militia is ready for battle. We're not only ready; we're going to win. You'll find him and his men at the mill by the bridge to the north. Right. Let's hope we see morning. Dude. I think we're gonna need to complete whatever it is. I forget what he, the knight wants us to do, but whatever it is. We'll complete that. Wait, what's in this house? Hi. Yes, what can I do for you? Very well. Yo, something is sus about this man. It shall be done. Ooh, sufficient skill. Wait, shoot, hold on. Okay, note to self, I need to get Liliana a bow. So, let me get this straight. You were a cloistered sister? You must have been a brother before you became a Templar. No? I never actually became a Templar. I was recruited into the Grey Wardens before I took my final vows. Do you ever regret leaving the... No word from the castle? 
No, all is still as it all right, what's today. going on? Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Van Tegan is to see you here. I must admit, I do not know quite how to address you. Is my lady sufficient? Yo, I like it. Grey Warden it is, then. Thank you kindly. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now, my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Ah, oh, well. With a Grey Warden aiding our defense, perhaps all is not lost. No, you'd be dead. But what can I do to help you? We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. See what I can do. That gladdens my heart to hear it. All right, Carrie. Uh, wait, is there anything else? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. Yo, carry on, my wayward son. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. Say no more. The R lives, and I will not listen to your Carry on, your my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are done. Sing it. All right. Don't you cry no more. Yo, don't hit me. You are a stranger amongst yes. us. Yes. And a mage, I see. Yet you still defend our home in its darkest hour. We are grateful. You can tell I'm age. Oh, I wonder why. Say, so I'll be grateful when we win the battle. I will be grateful of your attempt, even if it fails. We can ask no more. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this chantry which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. How awful this must be for you all. Is this everyone who's left? All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? See, we need blessings. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. Yo, can you just, I don't know, bless something? I can pray with them and give them my blessing. But Sir Perth wants me to call upon the Maker to shield them from evil. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? Yes. I will not lie to them like that. Yo, but if they think it helps them... I cannot do it. I know that their own faith may inspire them, but these men need to find confidence on their own. I, I simply won't lie to them. Now please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can. And I suggest you do the Boo. same. What is it you need, child? Of course, child. Blessed art thou who... Yo, gives me her blessing, but flipping... Won't bless, like, people who are helpful. We need those guys to be top morale. Yo, we are going full. I believe we will win. Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. Oh shoot, we gotta do all this again. Be good, I said. Don't you try to come in here. It 
So if you're here to beat on a sad old man, then all I See, ask just is want to talk to you. Off. Is that so? Then talk then. My girl, Valena. is one of the Alessa's maids. No, I'll do it. To do me the world of good. I want to promise. I'll... There we go. See? Problem solved. One down. Well, it. I'll send one of my men to inform Bantigan the militia is ready for battle. Alright, let's go speak with Perth. 